Blue skies back in the pictures. We get into the end of this week, but it's coming at a cost. That camera's not staying still behind me. A lot of wind going on out there across Washington, D.C. and pretty much the entire viewing area. Again, there are those current wind speeds no less than about eight miles an hour in Cumberland. And then you have those wind speeds steady near 20 miles an hour in D.C. So a blustery rest of the afternoon is ahead of us and that is having at least some impact on how it feels out there. Now we caught a little bit of a break temperatures and that truly cooler air have not rolled in just yet. So we're back up to 50 in D.C. Upper 40s all the way back toward Manassas, Leesburg and Frederick. Not too bad either, but back across the mountains west of Interstate 81. That chillier air is already starting to roll in and you're feeling it with that wind, a wind chill down into the 30s in Winchester, Cumberland, Hagerstown, not doing too bad to the east, but yeah, the wind is dropping it, make, making it feel a little bit cooler than the air temperature as well. And we've cleared things out quite a bit. That sunshine is plentiful all the way up until you get to the mountains. There's some of that cloud cover and snow shower activity that's trying to linger about parts of Garrett, Allegheny and Mineral County. So the mountain flakes, those will be a continual thing the rest of the day to the west, but elsewhere we're just going to have those breezy winds and plenty of sunshine. Temperatures will be the big story to start out the weekend as we are going to be chilly tomorrow, but believe it or not, it's right about where we should be by mid January standards. And Sunday we will have sunny and finally calm conditions with the wind finally calming down there. And then as we get into next week, we're back to warm temperatures, but we're also back to some soggy weather for a large majority of next week. Here we go. The rest of the day today with those temperatures, we will stay closer to 50 degrees along the I-95 corridor into Southern Maryland with those upper 30s and low 40s a little more common back to the west. But once the sun starts to set later on this evening and we get into the early overnight hours, everybody will start to feel that colder air as we watch those air temperatures fall back to the 30s and then lows tonight will be in the upper 20s to the west, closer to the freezing mark to the east, and we really don't warm up much as we go through the day on Saturday, pretty much staying in the upper 30s with a few spots like Fredericksburg trying to get back to that 40 degree mark. So yeah, no doubt it's going to be a little bit of a chilly start to the weekend, but this colder air or chillier air will not be lasting all that long. Look at this on Sunday. We're back to the mid 40s under plenty Plenty of sunshine Monday, 50 degrees once again, and the large majority of the time next week, those high temperatures will continue to stay in the 50s. But again, we won't be able to enjoy it as much because rainfall back in the forecast in an isolated light form on Tuesday, and then it looks like Thursday into Friday, the end of next week, once again, will be the soggiest stretch of weather we have coming up.